Welcome back to the Political Vigilante Night Shoot. We're back to the Night Shoot. I have a question for you guys. Do you like this setup, this sort of dark with this blue light? That's the Batman thing. It kind of shines up on the ceiling and you see the world a little bit. Or did you like the last couple I did prior to this that were sort of during the day? Because this is a this is a, a window that during the day gets a lot of sunlight. So it just blows out the whole room and all my walls are white. So everything... <laughs> crazy reflects it's not the perfect studio so i don't let me know what you, if you like the other one or this one or maybe you don't care You're like Ram, we don't give a shit just keep running your yapper uh also go to the patreon link below i've added a couple tiers like a dollar a month if all you guys like Graham, i can only afford 12 bucks a year to support the show i'll take it and i'm gonna add I, or I actually excuse me i just added some other uh patreon tiers one of which is i'll do um a video but it'll just be for patreon supporters at a certain level so that's something that you can you can have all to yourself if you'd like and then also you can suggest articles for me to talk about and subjects and uh, it's a pretty cool thing so i want i want you guys engaged in this as much as possible because i i, I dig building communities i help you know i'm part of this podcast community this is the los angeles podcast festival that's in our sixth year and and I and I dig it and I want to build this like political conversation, this community of political vigilantes. So today I want to go over an article in the Friday, March 3rd, USA Today, uh, written by Kimberly Winston, and the title is Jews Rally Around Burned Mosque $18 at a Time. So basically what happened on uh February 24th, a mosque, uh, the Islamic Society of New Tampa, um, which was which damaged by uh, arson on February 24th. What this article goes into is a trend that's actually happening of interfaith help, specifically between Jews and Muslims. So since Trump took office, hate crimes and stuff like that have gone on the rise. Um, specifically against like mosques, Muslim mosques and like Jewish temples and gravestones you've seen happen. And I'll go into the specifics in the article. They're helping each other out. What is it, which is interesting here. So when this mosque got uh, vandalized with arson in Tampa, the guy put on, I think like an Indiegogo or something like, help us, we need to rebuild. And he started seeing all these donations in $18 amounts. He's like, well, that's weird. It wasn't like 10 or 20 or 25 or 30. He's like, why is it $18? And then he checked the names and all the last names were like, you know, Avi and Goldman. And and he was like, oh, he was reminded that uh, the number 18, I'll go into the specifics, in Hebrew means to like, it's, it's, a, it's a number of significant meaning like how to help, but I'll go into it. So it's really, this is a cool story to hear about amidst all this awful stuff. I'm trying to find some, some, some positive in this so it's not just like, whoa, Trump nominated, to, you know, like, there was a Nazi in cryo fees and he's now the <laughs> Secretary of Children Affairs or something. Um, this is the cool thing because one of the things I want to go into is the powers that be want to keep us divided. They, they don't want they don't want this. They don't want this to happen. <laughs> they don't want us getting together and helping each other out. So the um, Adil Karim uh, was the guy that was online. It was it was his mosque, and he started to see these eighteen dollar donations, and he write. Uh, said, I couldn't understand why people were donating in what seemed like a weird amounts. Then he saw the names and it donated multiples of 18 as a form of what is called chai. It uh, wishes the recipient a long life. So specifically each Hebrew letter has a numerical value. The letter, um, the letter Chet equals eight and Pod equals 10. Together they form the Hebrew word Chai, which has a substantial value of, 
Oh fuck, I'm just fucking this up so bad. I can't see it enough. 518. Specifically, each Hebrew letter has a numerical value. The letter Chet equals 8, and the letter Yad equals 10. Together they form the Hebrew word Chai, which has a numerical value of 18 and means life. <laughs> so that's why he was starting to see like 18, 36, 72. I didn't know that. I did not know that about the Hebrew language. I didn't know the significance of that, which is a cool thing. Um, what? So here's some other instances of interfaith um, contribution. When vandals damaged headstones at a Missouri Jewish cemetery February 21st, Muslim benefactors raised more than $125,000 to pay for repairs. Hmm. When a mosque in Victoria, Texas was... Uh, raised by vandals in early February, members of a local Jewish congregation allowed the displaced Muslim faithful to worship in their synagogue. Did you hear that correctly? Muslims were worshiping in a Jewish synagogue in Texas. Um, when vandals toppled more than 100 headstones in a Jewish cemetery in Philadelphia, last weekend, Muslims and other, tra Muslims and other traveled from uh, other states to repair them. This is, this is like, I didn't know this at all. I don't know that the mainstream media is really reporting on this either. The Muslim Student Association at Florida State and Florida A&M universities delivered uh, bouquet, bouquets to campus Jewish organizations and local synagogues in a show of solidarity after the two cemetery attacks. On a college campus. Jonathan Greenblatt, uh, head of the Anti-Defamation League, an anti-Semitism anti watch watchdog group, received a standing ovation when he declared at a conference that if U.S. Muslims were forced to register with the government, he would, ra he would register as a Muslim too. What he's referring to is a, a, a Danish king um, who said when the... Well, basically what happened, a Danish king who said if his country's Jews had to wear a gold star, all of Denmark would too. Here's why this is significant. The powers that be, the corporate state, as we've talked about, does not want Jews and Muslims to work together. The powers that be do not want interface to get a they don't want Christians and Muslims and Jews to work together. They need to keep everybody divided. They need red state, blue state. They need liberal, conservative. Here's the real battle. It's rich versus poor. It's the corporate state versus the citizens versus us. That's what's going on. And not to say all rich people are evil. There's some doing some really good work. But a lot of them are just sort of like, huh, or they're just, you know, the, the old school term of limousine liberals. If they're So they need us divided. Because if we're divided, we're not going to focus on what's really happening, which the corporate state for the last like 30 to 40 years has been gutting everything. Schools, uh, <laughs> the political parties, the political system, universities specifically, where it used to be, universities used to be like a place of free thought and everybody exchange ideas and you could debate. Now it's just like, you know, Deans and, you know, professors are getting six-figure payouts from corporations and they're just like pushing the company line and just teaching everybody how to be middle management and don't speak up. So this is fantastic. And I like hearing about this. And if you have more stories like this, tell me about it because I want to share these stories. I want to learn about this. 
I want to learn about people helping each other out after some awful shit happens because we're trying to be divided. It is so clear that Trump and the powers that be and the Democrats have just let this happen, as I've talked about numerous times. They want us fighting with each other. They want us because they have gutted everything. And if we start looking around and see who's the real culprit here, then they will get burned down. Their bullshit will not be taken by any American in any part of this country at any time. And they know this and they're scared. If we don't do something about it, then America's gonna collapse. So keep helping each other out. I'll put a link to this article below. Please like and subscribe and share this. Share this, this is, a, this is an amazing thing that's happening. Thanks for watching.